Huh. Pretty sure that's how not not how nukes behave, but hey, it's a video game. What do you expect? I mean, it's kind of necessary for this to happen. Come to think of it. Otherwise, this would be a very short journey. Ooh, armory! Yes, please. In my past experiences, hard lock doors always mean trouble, so... Who wants to... Huh. Well, safest armory I've ever had access to. I'll tell you that much. Every other time this has happened, I've been, like, faced with at least one death claw. At least one. Ooh, rocket canisters. Thank you for that! As if that wasn't unfair enough. I have, like... Wrap your head around that. Rapid fire, huge AoE. Like, if you if you spec an explosive, this is your justification for your existence. No, it was for me. Well, not really. I mean, I still have Annabelle. I cannot believe... Like, they named the rocket launcher, and I've taken a liking to it. I don't know how to explain that. I might have a fetish for guns, or just... Feminine weapons? I don't even know where I'm going with this, but it's still weird nonetheless. Ooh, magnum rounds. Ooh, a duffel bag. How the hell did I not see the duffel bag first? Never mind. Let's see how close I can stand to it without actually taking any damage. I mean, it's only a nuke. Okay, then. Pretty goddamn close. <laughs> huh. Wasn't expecting that much. Hopefully women's barracks. Anything? Wow, this is like... Pace to be prepared, I guess. Or jumpy. God, that's a lot of rations. Solid Snake would lose his shit on these. Or, sorry. Big boss. I'm not gonna make that mistake. Jesus Christ. I'm a Metal Gear fan myself. I know how, how just rabid we can get. But I shouldn't really be getting into, uh, even though this is like sort of the perfect thing to talk about with playing Fallout and you like Metal Gear because, you know, things being launched. What the fuck? What was that even? The hell did you have? Shoulder mounted machine gun. Well, I better get to collecting 10 mil ammo. <laughs> Fucking weird. Guess it can. Well, thank you. Thank you very fucking much. God, I keep forgetting that these things exist. Shoulder mounted machine gun. Not too shabby of a DPS, actually, but, um,. Considering everything else I have, I mean, look at this. 508 DPS. And I would wager that it fires almost as fast as the other one. And the always popular... Oh, wow, that's even more powerful, huh? I think I might have overpacked for this journey. Just saying. Well, I guess 10 mil ammo is high on my list right now. Hmm. Ridiculous, but yeah, Metal Gear might be a perfect topic for this because, uh, well, nuke la nukes launching. The only difference between this and Metal Gear is that in this, the nukes have already hit. God damn it, I'm excited. I am honestly excited about, um, the Phantom Pain, which is also totally Metal Gear. It's like, it's painfully Metal Gear. Like, you should have, should have seen the VGAs. At one point, like, um, I, I noticed that after the fact, but there were, uh, people from Konami walking around with, uh, Moby Dick production t-shirts on. That, like, they couldn't, they, they might as well have tattooed it on their foreheads. It was that obvious. Oh, shit, plasma mines, run, 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 run. Follow me, Eddie. <sighs> Fuck. Nope. Nope. I said nope. I have, I have, like, a bad experience. I'm just mines. Oh! No. No, you don't. 
they're so useless in, well, they're not useless in combat situations per se, but I mean, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them nonetheless. See if I'm enough of, yup. Feet made out of, well, actually, that would have been a joke if my feet weren't actually full of implants, because that's another thing that the mods give you. Implants in feet. My feet are just like, Robocop can eat his heart out once he sees how much tech I got in my feet. Wait. Huh. Weird, I'm usually, wow, What? what's the point of the gate even? Hmm. Okay then. I'm just gonna go ahead and answer my own question, none. Literally zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Oh, knowing my- yep. No, no- oh shit, he's got a thermic lance. Fuck. No. No. <laughs> oh, thank you, close range snipers. Thank you. Thank you for presiding Kieran in Call of Duty. You make my life so much easier. See what you should spec in melee weapons, kids? If- if it so happens that a DLC comes out with this in it, you're just gonna be able to punch people in the face. No problem. None. I fear another ambush. I'm gonna be quite honest about that. Something, like, knowing my luck outside of this door? Whole pack of robots. Just whole pack of murderous fucking robots. And nothing. Wow. Well, oh, you don't count. Too cute. Disguises your, uh... Murderous intent, as it were. I should actually save more frequently, because Fallout New Vegas, with all these mods installed, has... has a tendency to, like, not be this stable. <laughs> Even the 60 frames per second are a miracle. Oh, there we go. Idiots. God, so many choices. I guess I'm gonna use the... Scoped... Energy Weapon Shotgun. I love you, Fallout. You're so perceptive, brah. <laughs> well, you are. You, you most certainly tried to be. Oh, fuck. Really? You want to go? Do you want to go? Would you like to go? I guess you do. Fuck you. Oh, well, you got one solid hidden. Shit. What? Did you vaporize somebody? Seems he did. I cannot, like... What happened? Did they patch something? Because usually Eddie is... I'm not gonna lie, as cute as he is, he is useless, like... <laughs> frighteningly so. He, um... He likes to run into situations that are unwinnable and just stick his face into them. With, you know, varying results of him dying and me reloading saves a lot. But I'm surprised. He... Hell, he wasn't even this useful the first time when I played this on the, uh, the good old PlayStation triplets. Which, poor thing, I mean, just poor thing. You do not want to know the state of my PlayStation, but, uh, it ain't, ain't exactly Sunshine and Daisies. Actually, it's not even remotely close to being, like, I I'm surprised it's in working condition is what I'm trying to say. I mean, poor thing has gone through so, so much. And now I almost don't have a use for it, which is kind of sad. Because, um, I mean, I love it dearly. But, I mean... What what did Sony come out with like this winter? PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, which is fun if you have people around. If you're on shitty college internet, yeah, not so fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not trying to diss my internet. It works decent enough when I'm playing PC games, but consoles, woof, Jesus Christ, yuck. Even with like PS3's weak ass internet uh, capabilities, that's just. It's a frightening story of despair and sadness. Oh, I see you. I shall make it my way through you. Or D. Is it through D? I guess it's D. We're trying to be all thespian. Look at how it sets itself on fire gradually. You would think they'd be more volatile than this, but no shit, there we go. Why are they even firing up? Like, it's like a warning system. Here we are, kill us, fine. Oh, that's a lot of you. Well, this is going to turn out badly if I don't do something about it. 
Here's the something I'm gonna do about it. Shit grenades. Fuck grenades. Are you a guy? You are. Eat it. I'm not gonna trust my own skills with this gun on fats, cause um they they are quite poor. Not gonna lie on that front. Leave my robot alone. Jesus Christ. No! He gonna die! Dix Blister. Wow, that's a threatening name if I've ever heard one. Please oh well. I'm so good at my job. Shit, no! That somehow missed. Or was it just Vat's invincibility? We can never tell here in megashortfuses.com. I still hate Tony for making up that name, by the way. Come on, you fucking pushovers. Drop your gun! He literally picked up everything on fucking planet Earth. And just a stim pack, holy fuck. Well, I could not believe how favorably this went for me. <laughs> Usually, I'm I'm the one in this situation. Seems that fate, like uncharacteristically, smiled upon my poor ass. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Hell, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm usually the one in pieces and dead, with their sexy ass exposed for all the world to see. God damn it. <laughs> I'm still shocked. Just just how well this went. Just god damn it. Oh, don't you worry, doggy. We'll come back to you. Let's just deal with these fuckwads first. If I can triangulate the position of said fuckwads, it'd be even better. Hello? Fuckwads? Ow! Thank God for spray and pray. Oh, and he hit the exact arm which has the implant in it. Count lucky shots in my favor at one. <laughs> this isn't a weapon so much as it is like a precision dismantling device. Well, they hit my right arm again. Heal thyself. Why am I bleeding out? Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, that's not good. Fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> wow, that, that was like... There's no indication other than you dying. Oh no, I am on fire. I cannot believe I just said that. <laughs> but hey, I was, so... This is the world we live in, and these are the hands we're given. Stand up and let's start trying to make it a place worth living in. I miss Disturbed. Tangents, everybody, tangents. Welcome to my playthroughs. Where the gameplay is brisk aside because I'm just too dim good dim good at video games and in the English. Yeah, I get over Oh you know, I get overexcited and uh I start talking like space languages, but yeah. I mean, you should be used to this by now. My playthroughs are a bastion of weird, obscure video game knowledge and skill so far as Tony's not playing. Although he is good at some games, I'm not gonna name which, because I don't remember. Poor Sod. I mean, poor Tony. Here's a fun fact. He finished Final Fantasy XIII, which, um... The only thing I know about it is based on fan fictions I've read. And yes, I read fan fiction. Sue me. Actually, oh god, I don't even know if I should go into that story, but um. Oh, Ulysses' log. I love these.
And if you've played any of the DLCs, that um, that explains a whole fucking lot about um, Honest Hearts. I mean, it. that's, again, another one of the reasons why I like this, the gravitas of it. Ulysses is such a transcendent character. Like, he, he rises above the, like, honestly, kind of boring main story. And he bridges the DLCs in such like an interconnected way he is he's like the perfect villain for this game he is hinted at during the all of the dlcs he's like a shadowy figure and here you get to face him and through his logs you get to learn how he influenced the world that you walk through and um i love that i honestly love the crap out of that but anyway back to my previous tangents um it's enough kissing Fallout's ass. I mean, I'm going to be doing that for a while. Let's see here. God, more rockets. Yes, please. Missiles. God, I'm running low on... Actually, no, I'm not. Considering I'm just going to be picking up crap and then immediately blowing it on killing the crap out of everything. Um, I think I can spare some space, but... Fan fiction. <laughs> I have very a very embarrassing and weird like story about fan fiction um, that I don't know if I should share. But again, I have no shame, and it really doesn't didn't like denote my character in any way. So fuck it. As many of you know, fan fiction is alarms. Really, that was excessive. That was very very excessive. That was overly excessive, holy goddamn Jesus. Well, as customary, is there loot down here? Hell, is there anything down here after that hail of explosions? Hmm, huh, guess not. Collapsed overpass. Keep out. Strange. The I got from your speech is that the main point of me being here is that you wanted me to not keep out but eh can you believe it Brit actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damn efficiency guidelines all experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time it's barbaric I've explained this to the Colonel just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. <sighs> Looks like I've got you to talk to, huh, Eddie? I can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know that they're more than just machines. Well, um, okay, first off, no, that... That really wasn't how it happened. My, most of my encounters with robots were, um, wasn't satisfactory. Let's leave it at that. Whitney was really protective of his iBots. He's so cute. Look at him. Just cuddle worthy. You're just a glorified computer. Why bother switching you off to improve you? Nah, I'm not gonna be that mean. He sounds more like a father than an inventor in these logs. He must have tried to change things. He doesn't seem like the type to let that slide. Whatever that was, I'm really gonna need more than excited beeping in parentheses, video game. Oh, well, thank you. Let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover. And with that, considering we really do have a lot of ground to cover, fuck that clause. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave me crapping my pants for next time. Um, this is gonna conclude this session. So what? What the hell was that? I'm I'm genuinely scared now because this wasn't from the PS3 version, uh, that war wasn't anyway. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna cuddle like just cower in my bed for now. But uh, thanks for watching again. Tell me if you want to me to read um, the logs or you want me to like edit them out so you can pause and read them for yourselves. And that's it. And uh, I guess my incredibly embarrassing story about fan fiction will be left for next time. Till then, the ro long road continues. Fuck, damn it, I messed up my line. Never mind. See you guys.